Fantastic, dude. So now, that is now I get I get it. I get it now. Now I understand uh, what future rock is. You don't play it now and listen later. No. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that that's great. It's a uh, you know what? It, it's rock and roll. I I, I miss it, dude. There is yeah. not yeah. enough of it. There is not <laughs> enough of it out there. And I applaud you. That, well, that's a, that's that being song. said, and I agree totally. Um, but I took a lot of, and I also like hip hop and R and B. Uh, and truly, I don't want to put anybody down in the rock world out there. But oh, damn it, Ozzy, <laughs> man, come on! <laughs> but Ozzy dude. can still rock even after being thrown oh, from a. Yeah. Motorcycle and almost dying in England and crushing all of them. Died twice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Came back later. The producers out there that are really doing the cutting edge stuff are really right now the R&B, hip hop type guys. And now you've got uh, a few other guys. Uh, David, uh, what's his name? Yeah, does Paramore. Uh, um, what's his name? Damn it. Sorry, peeps. Um, <laughs> you know, doing Flyleaf, uh, Paramore, Breaking Benjamin, uh, yeah. Three Days Grace. They're doing some cool stuff. You know, Paramore, those guys play everything in drop B. You know, these kids, right. man, they're doing some really cool sick stuff on the instruments. But as far as producing and engineering goes, rock has kind of fallen off, uh, you know, the past decade. And it's people, you know, um, like a T-Pain. Um, oh, right. It's everything, everything is all, you know, you're using tracks you're using your sequencing so you're using much a lot more. of effects you know they're just coming up with really cool ideas and i took some of my favorite hip-hop r&b artists um you know like a rihanna and uh, jamie fox yeah because you look like such a big rihanna fan <laughs> <laughs> i mean i see him yeah. blasting rihanna in his car right now it's um, the oh it's my like, damn it's oh the yeah hair. rihanna sing it to me girl <laughs> it, it's the hair but she did, her producer, I forget his name, he did some really cool stuff on that album. I took some of that uh, and applied it. Took some of T-Pain stuff and applied it. Sure. You know, all that. And then took some of my uh, other favorite rock uh, producers. that are some really, Breaking Convention is one of my favorite bands. They're vocally, good. that's who I kind of copied on vocally what I want to do because their harmonies are just... It's tight. Know, everything's it's, tight. It, everything's it's tight. Cool. It's great. It's good stuff. You know? And, you know, I wish that, uh, I mean, rock and roll had... Definitely more of the front. It's, I feel I feel like sometimes it's coming back, but that hip hop yeah. is just so huge. Just yeah. when you think it's coming back, the Jonas Brothers get another hit. <laughs> yeah. They have a hit. I don't know what it is. There's some great rock music out there. Papa Roach blows me away, man. Yeah, They've right. got so many great songs. Right. Every song I hear from them, I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna blow up again. That's gonna be at least a top three hit, and it climbs up to about twelve, you know, or something, and then it fades away. I'm like, what? That's like one of the best songs I've heard. Everything, vocally, instrumentally, arrangement. It's the time. It's the time we live in, though, man. It's the time we live in. It's when I was growing up. That's all we had was the radio, and we we listened to. Well, we had was the radio, and and we sat by our radios, waiting for that next song to come out. Here, your attention, you're bombarded with. And the MTV, you're involved. everybody can have it on their iPhone, and it lasts probably about four months before you're like, dude, that song's old. Yeah. And that's well, what you know. There, 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 there's, the, there's always been that, you know, teen idol craze, you know, and I'll always go to Jonas Brothers. I, mean, I remember when I was like younger, it was like, Bobby Sherman, David Cassidy. Who? God damn. Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, who? I like, damn, who? Damn, he's old. Damn, he's oh, like older oh, than the oh, Crypt Keeper. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, what, 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 Leaf Garrett. Leaf Garrett. You know, yeah. Who? Who? Right, 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 I'm going to name you two songs by Leaf Garrett. That's, that's, you know, the, 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 it's, it's always been that way, the, the selling to the teenagers. That's the one thing I always liked about Ozzy. He stayed true to just basic. Rock yeah, he was never a teen heartthrob. No, 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 no. He was, uh, he was like, mommy, he bites, uh, I really think, I really think that's bats, it. He, he's he's awesome. the, yeah, he's the, the one your mom and dad uh, tried to keep you away from. Uh, it just rocks. It, like, like, he just barks rocks. at the moon. It's original, uh, and it, it, you, 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 uh, uh, he's searching. Come back to searching. Come back to searching. You get, um, um, 
you know, you, uh, well, that's what you're trying to say there, Austin. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So, you, know, you, 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 you tune into it, you dial in, man, you know, and, and you're like, you know, you're, you're digging it, you know. Cause but that's the thing, though. I mean, even when Ozzy Osbourne being an icon back in the 70s and all through the 80s, it's one of those things that you grew up wanting to just listen, find out what that next song was, mm-hmm. waited months and months and months for that next album if the yeah. next album was going to drop yeah. here your album drops maybe one day and then you hopefully it does has, has a good weekend yeah <laughs> exactly. it has a good weekend when you drop the album and then you fade into the mist yeah and that's why it's so it's so hard to be an independent artist out here especially in vegas yeah, uh, it's so brutal man there's no it's attention brutal. span here whatsoever there's no attention span kids have no attention span today what? well, well to, back, huh? to back that up but i mean i mean the the beatles were influenced by elvis of course elvis was influenced by like soul music yeah. blues and, and but and then everybody was influenced by the ozzy was influenced by the beatles and then a lot of metal metallica everybody was influenced by but with uh, with the future rock that's kicking ass with you, who was who is, who is the inspiration? Good question. Uh, yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you were listening to your own comedy show. All of a sudden, all it takes is a couple of beers, a couple of hits, and he's ready. He's he's smart. That was my one. That was my one good question. It's gonna go to crap after that. Yeah. Way to go, I'm proud of you. Good, shoot. Uh, uh, well, Rush mainly. It went right. over the decades. It was uh, to begin with. It was Rush for me. Once I heard Rush, I was hooked. In fact, I listen to so much Rush, I can't even listen to them anymore. I've been to so many Rush concerts, I just can't do it anymore. They're coming here next month. Right? Yeah, they're they're here every couple of months, and they still. In fact, they're doing so well right now. They're finally getting the credit that they deserved. Yeah. Uh, VH1 is getting you know doing the tribute lately. Um, B- 101 is showing the concerts nonstop, so I'm really proud of them. Yeah, that movie, I Love You, Man, really. Then it went from Rush to um, Queensryche, huge into then. I loved every album except for in the early 90s when they tried to do the alternative thing. Uh, but I loved Promised Land, which didn't do well. Not a lot of people liked it. I thought it was brilliant. And then I became a huge Rage Against the Machine fan. I'm a huge Rage fan. Huge awesome. and huge Audio Slave fan. You know. Audio Slaves. Uh, amazing, and um, and then after that, you know, there again, uh, my stuff obviously is bone rock. You know, when you listen to it, it's you know I call it futuristic rock, but it's, it's rock. It, it's, it's straight rock without a doubt, but it stems from rock. All those guys I just mentioned. Right, right. All those guys that you, it, it has rock, but it, with a with R and B, hip hop, you know, current edge that you, right. you're making use pop, of all the know, technology. I, I made a, I made it a point to go more poppy than I normally when I uh, hooked up with the guys that helped discover Disturb. Um, you know, they they saw heard my demo and they're like, man, you know, you can really play guitar, you can really sing, but you're all over the place. You got a, a reggae song here, you got a pop song here, you got a rock song here. You got to figure out what you want to do. Yeah, but that's the thing, you know, it's 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 hard. You look at the Beatles, and over the many years, they developed not just one style of song. When if you hear the albums from when they were first on Ed Sullivan. You know, I want to hold your hand. And then you go to the, the later years of them. Well, they found the drugs. And they found drugs. Yeah. You know <laughs> <laughs> when they were in more inspired or, you know, drugging. Uh, every, every album was different. Every, every yeah. album was the different. And, and then, then it got to where all the, each song in each album was different. And I think that's a good thing. And that, that would be kick-ass. You know, have a reggae and a this. And but a that's that, what lasts. But that's not more what heavy we rock. And then have mm-hmm. one that sounds a little... Real heavy Black Sabbath, like whatever. Well, yeah. You get one of them in there. Well, <laughs> well who didn't grow well, up? Well, they all man. They're so good. Okay. That's all the 70s, man. You grew up in the 80s, you truly. Who didn't love Ozzy? I mean, that was really my first I true experience was Ozzy. Non-stop, over and over again. Listen to those guitar riffs. Listen to Tommy Aldridge. You know, it was my Ozzie first favorite Kiss. drummer. It was Ozzy and Kiss growing up. Kiss was a little bit before me. I really never got into Kiss that much. I listened to Michael <laughs> Jackson and New Kids on the Block. <laughs> 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 no, but, but you're, 
that's what I, I love artists like you and the fact that the media is really pigeonholing you into you need your only your specific type sound. That's what people want to yeah. hear. I think and diversity, that's the future, <laughs> really. I mean to be able to appeal to all the different audiences and be and if you entertaining. Be absolutely. That's Unfortunately amazing. you gotta play the game at first yes, you do. to be able to do that. You know, it's not the seventies and eighties and early nineties. You know, grunge killed between grunge and the record label because grunge only lasted four years, you know, and they Greatest went and signed everybody. Time. And the record companies, you know, they're not leaders. They're truly the major labels are followers, you know. So once uh, Pearl Jam came out, Nirvana came out, they went and signed every oh, sorry God. ass grunge band that was out there, and 90% of them were terrible. And then that's why we haven't seen hardly any good rock or very sparse since about the mid to you know later 90s. From about 2000 when the Britney deal came on, Christina. It's been all pop ever since. Yeah, yeah thank I God mean, though that the chicky, the chick choreography stuff, you know, was gone by the wayside. With the, that got a bit hard to take after a while. Yeah, because I couldn't see. I mean, I, I don't think it, unless there's actually a guitar, a bass, and drums on stage. It's that's not right. fucking music, right? Man. That's all there is. It's, 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 it's not the same. It's, it's not the same. Come on, every surely, song used man. to every song used to be about six to eight minutes back in the, mm -hmm. the 80s and 90s. Now songs consist of two and a half, two and a half, yeah. two minutes, three yeah. minutes, a song. No, no guitar solo anymore, yep. sucks. Yep. No badass drum solo anymore, yep. sucks. So, you know. Yeah, those eight minute songs killed eight tracks though, you know, because they hated right that little, like, yeah, it's right stop and then uh, the uh, it's track. Stairway to Heaven. Eight to tracks, what the hell are those? <laughs> 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 I'm giving, Damn, I'm giving, I'm giving I'm my just... age away again. <laughs> 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 oh, good lord. Let's, let's take a break real quick and then we're going to come right back to you.